Welcome back. It's been 10 years since Malaysia Airlines flight MH17 was shut down over eastern Ukraine. A commemorative ceremony was organized in the Netherlands at a memorial park on Wednesday. All hopes of punishing those responsible are fading. International investigators suspended their work last year. Melissa Go with more. One tree representing one loss of life in the tragic downing of flight MH17 a decade ago. Leaders from 17 affected countries gathered here at the Five Housand Park near Schiphol International Airport outside Amsterdam to stand in solidarity with the next of kin. Dutch Prime Minister Dick Skov delivered a heartfelt speech to honour the memories of the victims. Now, he was personally involved in the investigation and pledged that he will continue to fight for justice for them and their families. They will never be forgotten. It's very important that the countries uh, stick together and uh, if necessary, I mean, the, the JIT, the, the Joint Investigation Team is suspended, but whenever there is new information, they can start up immediately again. So international cooperation is very, very important. Of the 298 passengers and crew members, 196 were Dutch nationals, 80 were children, many were on summer vacation. A Dutch court has found two Russians and one Ukrainian responsible for the plane crash. Now, Dutch prosecutors said a surface-to-air missile brought in from Russia a day ago fired from the rebel-controlled territory in eastern Ukraine was so powerful that it ripped through the plane after detonated outside the cockpit. Fragments were found inside crew members. Now, ahead of the memorial service, a media tour was organised by the Dutch Investigation Task Force. To show the effects of the impact, the Dutch-led investigation team took three months to put together this reconstruction here at Hills of Ryan military base since 2015. Now, Russian President Vladimir Putin has denied all responsibilities. Now, families were in distraught 10 years on. Who pushed the button? Who gave the orders? That, that answer, we don't have those answers. I'm now 80 years old. And I have still alive. And my wife has always said it's not natural that I survive my own kids. We will keep on fighting for our justice, for justice for our children and justice for ourselves. We will keep on fighting. Ministers from Australia, Belgium and Ukraine that are part of the joint investigation team was present at the remembrance service. Now, Russia has long ago vetoed a UN-backed tribunal to investigate the downing of MH17. Now, the European Court of Human Rights is still hearing the case, while the Netherlands and Australia have launched a civil suit against Russia at the International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO. Melissa Goh, CNA. Amsterdam.